rallied with a pair of unanswered goals and now lead by one as we start the third period of play. And Jim, they really have momentum on their side as the final frame gets underway. Here come the Canadians quickly out of their own zone. And he knocked his man down. The Canadians grab the puck. He scores! And they've tied it up early in the third. Kovalev has put up big offensive numbers because of his shot. He loves to fire pucks at the net, and he's very accurate with a quick release. Oh, he hit the post! We're tied at two here early in the third. The shots are 15-13 for Montreal. We have a penalty call. Fleury has been nailed for illegally handling the puck in the restricted zone. That kind of play can get you a bad reputation. And you can see the coach here doesn't like that call, and he's having a word with the official. Montreal gets another two-minute power play. Let's see if they can generate a few more chances this time. And the faceoff is won by Messier. He moves it to center. He'll go at him one-on-one. -on -one. Into the slot. Theodore with a gigantic save. Right in front. Around the back. In front. Great glove save by Theodore. He passes the puck to Zednik. And he's over the line. In on the attack. Flurry turns him away. Oh, he's made another save. Tarnstrom to Messier. And out he comes. To Ricky. Cuts in front. Theodore with a big save. Out start the Canadians. We've reached the midway mark of the penalty, and they haven't been able to generate a whole lot of... Ooh, what a hit! To Poison. Shoots the puck. Here's Dick Tarnstrom. He passes it to Recky. With speed, it's a... He scores! It's a shorthanded marker. The big reason Messier is still in this league is because he's such an effective player. It's unbelievable that he continues to score so many goals at his age. Behind the net. Dead Marsh. Pittsburgh will move the puck up ice. Here they... Scores! It's a shorthanded marker. No one in the history of the game has been able to make scoring look as easy as Mario Lemieux. He may be the most gifted offensive player of all time. Behind the net. Dead Marsh. The shots are 18-17 for Pittsburgh. Jackman sees his penalty expire and jumps back on the ice. Into the ski scores! The faceoff goes to Montreal. They bring it over the line. Tackle. Shots on goal are 19-17 for Pittsburgh. Right in front! Down into the corner. Shoots it quickly! Here's Sheldon Sure. From behind the net. Back the other way they come. Along the boards. A howitzer from the left. Dackel. Into the corner he goes. To Sure. Quick shot. Flurry gets a pad on it. To Fata. And he's into the attacking zone. Cuts in front. And he hangs on for a big time. Jackman has scored once already, and it was on his only shot on goal. Well, you can't be disappointed with the results. I'm sure his coaches would like to see him get more pucks on net. Right in front. He hangs on to the puck. The Penguins have applied tremendous pressure almost from the outset. And they're winning all the battles for loose pucks. And it's created a lot of chances. The hard work is paying off in the scoreboard. it right on he scores and it's a huge lead in the middle of the third you know craig i think if i played for them i could have scored a couple of goals today well you probably could jim i've seen you play here come the penguins quickly out of their own zone into the slot
In front. Cuts in front. Theodore made the gigantic save. Out come the Canadians. They move into the attacking zone. Right on. Here comes Mark Recchi. Front of the net. He scores. That's a deuce for him. Recchi is the type of player who never gives up on a play. He's a tireless worker that's able to score goals because he's constantly winning the little battle. Behind the net, Dittmars, hard shot from the right! Pittsburgh will get a chance to move up. The shots are 23-21 for Pittsburgh. A penalty has been called. Fleury has been nailed for illegally handling the puck in the restricted zone. Now he thought he'd gotten away with it. Instead, he gets a two-minute minor. And you can see the coach is having a word with the official because he's not happy about that call. Montreal hasn't had any luck on the power play so far in this game, but they'll get a fourth chance here. Well, they just need a few bounces to go their way. If they stick with it, the goals will come. In front. Back the other way they come. And it's into the attacking zone. Shoots the puck from the slot. Ryder right in front. Another shot that's blocked by the defender. Pittsburgh will move the puck up ice. Shoots quickly. Puck picked up by Recky. Another shot. Hit the man in front of the net. Shots on goal are now 23-23. To Francis Bouillon. Shoots it. Turned away by Fleury. To Messier. Snaps the shot. He scores to get the hat trick. No matter where Recky has played in his career, he's been able to produce offensively. That's why teams have been courting this guy since the late 80s. Eight. The shots are 24-24. Down to the final two minutes of this third period. Takes it behind the net. Into the slot. He scores! And now he's got a pair. What can you say about Mario Lemieux that already hasn't been said? He's the total package of size, skill, imagination, and touch. He can be simply unstoppable at times. Behind the net, Dittmarsh. Now he takes it into the neutral zone. He's in over the blue line on the attack. Right in front, Damfus stacks him up. Montreal will start the breakup. They're in over the blue line on the attack. Shoots quickly, hurry the save. Dittmarsh. Jackman puts an end to this power play as his penalty is over. Jackman, now he's over the blue line on the attack. Circling the net. Front of the net, he scores! That's his second goal of the game. The ref is ready to drop the puck. Less than a minute to go in this third period. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Shoots the puck from the right. Behind the net. Adam and by number 55. And they get called for icing. How he kept his eye on that one is beyond me. Well, you'd need a pair of eagle eyes to keep that one out, but somehow he did it. The puck is about to be dropped. Montreal has won another faceoff. Shoots the puck from the left. To Fata. Now he's into the attacking zone. Shoots it from the slot. Into the slot. Another quick shot. That went wide of the net. Ferguson takes control of the puck. He moves it out. They're in over the blue line on the attack. Perot. Bono with the puck. He passes it to Fata. Into the last 10 seconds of the third. Over to Kultsov. Now he moves the puck into the attacking zone. Around the back. It's over. Pittsburgh wins this game and keeps the streak alive. Jim Houston. And I'm Craig Simpson. Have a great one.